Well, security is becoming an increasingly more important thing in this country. I mean, if you've been to the UK, you're going to see that there's security cameras literally everywhere. And here in the United States, it's probably getting to be close to that bad very soon. But it's gone from just beyond the governmental sector to the business sector and also to people's homes because we all need to know what's going on at home when we're not there. And now with the myriad of mobile communications that are available to us, we can have access to these cameras anytime. Now it used to be that you would call up a company with three letters or so and ask them to come install cameras in your house. They would run wire, like big coaxial wire, all through your house. It would be a very expensive installation, the equipment was very expensive, and then you had to pay them a monthly fee so that they could tell you what was going on in your house. And that doesn't seem so convenient, does it? So there's been a lot of new security systems coming out, both wired and wireless. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Asante Voyager 1. This is both a wired and wireless security camera that can provide you with a whole lot of different things that you can do. So let's talk about why this camera is special. Resolution on cameras has varied widely. In the beginning, all of them had a 320 by 240 resolution. Most of the ones that you'll find today have 640 by 480 resolution, which is 480p. Now, this camera has better than 720p resolution, not quite 1080p resolution. This has resolution of 1280 by 1024. So it is a four by three aspect ratio, but this does have a wide angle lens, so it's gonna give you a lot of coverage. Now, cameras are pretty much all the same, right? You plug them in, you connect them to your network, and they're gonna be able to give you information from them. Now, usually a, most of these cameras stream in what's called the MJPEG protocol. And basically it's a series of JPEG images that just continue after one another. It just kind of tells the, the client computer how quickly those images are coming and it's able to capture that stream. This camera also incorporates MPEG-4 streaming. So in real time, it can stream in MPEG-4. So you're able to capture a live video feed or you're able to capture that MJPEG feed. But it goes so much beyond that because the software that's included with this product allows you to do so many things that it's really awesome. Now you've heard a lot about facial recognition and all that stuff and you see those shows on the History Channel that show you know old time Las Vegas and modern Las Vegas and how they can identify the bad guys when they come through the front door. Well, this isn't quite there yet, but it gets you about half the way there. So I set this up on my balcony where I let my dogs play with me sometimes. And when this watches the dogs, it knows that there's an object moving, so it will identify if I set on motion detection. It will capture a video clip and it will actually say object detected. But if I walk out on the balcony and all it sees is my leg, it knows that I'm a person. So it will say person detected. So imagine having this set up in front of your home. You can have it just monitoring your front door, those types of things. You log into the, the software when you get home and you can see the clips where it identified people so you can know who came to your house or your business or whatever while you weren't there. Think about this, nanny cam to the extreme, right? You can just filter down all the clips of motion that are recorded throughout the day and identify the ones where there's people in them so you can see what your nanny is really doing. So there's lots of cool things. And in fact, this is a cop, this is actually a shot of the interface that you can see how I can scroll through, look at all the different clips, and you're able to actually see how the title says whether it's an object motion detected or people are detected. So that's really awesome too. Now, what are some of the great uses for this camera over other cameras? I'll tell you. It's got HD video. Now, I have to tell you that during the testing of this product, the video that it provides with regular ambient sunlight is pretty amazing. In fact, the video of me playing with the puppies here in the back, that was taken with this camera. Now, I had the frame rate drop down a little bit from 30 frames per second, but you can see the clarity and the color that's captured in these videos is, is actually pretty amazing. Now, here's a clip of some of the night vision footage that this was taken. Now, this was pitch black. And when I say pitch black, I mean pitch black. And you'll notice that you can kind of see the dogs moving around and doing their kind of thing there. So this camera can give you a lot of functionality and hooking it up is really, really, really simple. You basically connect an ethernet cable to the camera, you put the software in the drive of your laptop or computer, and it automatically detects them on your network. Then you can set up your networking protocol so that you can use it either in a wired or wireless mode, allowing you to realistically connect via 802.11a, b, g, or n, anywhere throughout your enterprise, home, or small business. So with that flexibility, you can connect to virtually any network that you already have. You know, some people might have an old 802.11a router laying around from when they thought that that 54 meg burst was really gonna be something, right? Even before 802.11g came out. But you know what, if you have it in your enterprise somewhere today, and people do, <laughs> you could use this to connect to all of your network cameras. 
Then, using a single PC, you can capture all of these. There's also additional functionality that you can use to connect to these remotely. So you can actually have this notify you of that motion detection and allow you to connect to it to see the video clips, whether it's by text message, email, FTP, or posting it somewhere on the web. There's a lot of different things that you can do with this camera. The best thing you should do if you have the interest for an HD camera is to buy one. Check it out, set it up, and find out that you're going to be able to have some beautiful shots of your backyard and protect you at the same time. You know, one of the coolest things that you can do with this thing when you get it and you have an HD feed of some beautiful scene, say, over a lake or perhaps something like this. This is my shot of downtown Miami taken with this camera. And you can see there is absolutely no light. It's pitch black in the middle of the night and you're able to see the rich, beautiful colors of the Miami downtown skyline. Then you can go to a site like wonderground.com, you know, the weather underground, and you can actually submit your webcam so that your images can be shown to the whole world when they're looking at a map of what to look at in your area. This is Senior Editor Lonnie Paul. Thanks for checking it out. For more information on the Asante Voyager SmartBot Security IP camera, just type A556-1098. That's A556-1098 into any search engine or check it out on tigerdirect.com.